book of Malachi is the last book of the Old Testament. It's a minor prophet. Um, I got a lot that I'm going to give you, and so I'm going to hit you with rapid fire, so I want you to bear with me. I know you have your children with you, and kiddos just kind of hang in there. Um, the book of Malachi is a, is a prophetic book spoken to the Israelites after they were released from the bondage from Babylon. And now the Israelites were free, and the Lord raises up this prophet Malachi. And Malachi, his word was not just given to the Israelites, it was given to the priests. So actually, the book of Malachi is a rebuke or a correction to the priest. We all know Malachi chapter 3 when it talks about robbing from God our tithes and offerings. And a lot of people have criticized churches, including ours and myself personally, about talking about giving. And some people say that we talk too much about it. When I say, I don't think we talk enough about it. Because for as long as you are a consumer, you need to be a receiver. Because if you just consume and you never sow, you're eventually not going to have. But if you're consuming and you're sowing, your field will be full and plentiful for what you need tomorrow. So that's the whole purpose of giving. It's about giving and receiving. It's about breathing. Inhale, exhale. It's a, it's a, a, it's a full dynamic of return. And so Malachi, the Lord speaks to Malachi and rebukes the priest because the priests were teaching wrong. So what you're about to hear is the prophetic words to the priest about how they needed to repair some things. And I want to cover a couple of things real quick. Three items. First, the first three items. God loves people. God loves you. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 